All right, Scott Harnick here. Uh, super excited to share with you another fun recipe. Uh, something simple, really easy, fast. You know, everyone's always like, oh man, I can't do what you do. It's so hard. Come on now, this is simple. So today I'm gonna be showing you how I make a cucumber salad um, with a little mirin rice wine vinaigrette and then a little marinated salmon. So it's gonna be super fast. It's all gonna to come together very quickly. I did already do some of the cucumbers just because you don't wanna watch me for four minutes do cucumbers, but let me show you how easy this is. So. I start with slicing my cucumbers and I bought English cucumbers, they're great because um, the seeds stay in them, they stay compact real nice. And what I did first was I just added a couple layers of peeling, only for the look. You know, English cucumbers have a great uh, thin skin to them so you can totally eat this. But um, the reason I'm doing that is it makes them look sexier if I do it that way. So then, of course, my favorite thing ever, my mandolin. I talk about this all the time. Everyone should have one, but this makes it real easy. So my first couple slices, I'm gonna disregard because they don't look right. They're not perfect. Get rid of those. And then boom, just gonna rip it out. So as you get to the very end, remember, you gotta be careful because this is a very sharp blade, but look at how nicely and perfectly and evenly this cuts them every time. Simple and fast. And you can do this with a ton of different vegetables. It doesn't just have to be um, cucumber. But I'm particularly choosing cucumber today because the concept of this dish is the balance of kind of a sweet and a spicy dish. So we're gonna have a spicy marinated salmon and then a sweet cucumber salad. So boom, that's enough. I don't need any more. I don't need to cut my fingers off. Totally good to go. So there are my cucumbers. And you can imagine if I did more, uh, how quickly that, that would go. The next thing I'm gonna make is my dressing for my cucumbers. So this is super simple. We're gonna take a little bit of sugar we're going to take some uh, rice vinegar. I do have some white wine vinegar in case I think it needs a little more pop and a little bit of um, rice uh, mirin. It's kind of a rice wine, rice seasoning. It's sweeter. So sweet and sour. So, um, you know, and you always want to know how much. It's about this much. About that much. Okay. And then how much vinegar? About that much. This is rice vinegar. Again, you can use white wine vinegar. I'm going to taste it when I get done and make sure I love it. And then we're going to use some, um, some raw cane sugar. Not too, too much, but just going to mix this up. Now, it's going to be more sour than I want it to be at first before that, that sugar integrates. So I'm you know, I'm going to let this sit once I do it so the sugar has time to break down and dissolve. But it needs more bite. So I'm going to do a little white wine vinegar. About that much. I've already used that one finger. I gotta get a different finger engaged. Mm. It's getting there. Just need a little more. Okay. I know that's gonna be perfect. I'm happy. I'm gonna wash my hands super fast. Okay, so that is my dressing for the salad. Real simple. We're going over to a friend's house for a barbecue. Another one of our coaches, Kelly, we're gonna be uh, sending her off to another state, North Dakota. But anyway, um, we're gonna be taking this over, and so this is great. It's gonna have time to kind of melt while uh, we're driving, come together. You could always do this in advance, refrigerate it, and be totally ready to go. So, done there. Now we're making our salmon marinade, and this is all about a blend of, of spicy, um, and rich and deep flavors. So we're gonna be using um, some sesame oil. We're gonna use some soy and a little East Meets uh, West ginger teriyaki and then a secret ingredient. If you want a Facebook message me, I will tell you what that is, but this is a little ninja secret ingredient. Um, and then we're also gonna use a little bit of sugar to balance out this one. We're gonna use a little brown sugar, um, pure cane, no beef. But anyway, um, so we'll start off with our sugar that in there. Sugar's dry. A little bit old. We don't use it very often and oof, it goes, goes hard real quick. Okay. Then we're going to use some of our gluten-free soy. And 
And then, I knew we were going to need a little more than that, so i got a touch more here. This one's organic. Ooh, fancy. Perfect. Okay. Then, we're going to use a little of this East meets West uh, teriyaki, ginger, spicy, beautiful love. And then, El Secret Ingrediento. The secret ingredient in Spanish, in case you were wondering. A little sesame oil. And that's also going to be nice on the, the salmon because it's going to help it keep from sticking to the grill. Okay? So now, I'm just going to whisk this up real quick. I'm also going to add, oh, this is my little drawer of happiness. Uh, I'm going to add some red chili flakes to that. And those are right here. Because we're going to make this spicy because it's going to be a sweet dressing, spicy marinade. Now, if I had some fresh raw garlic or some, uh, you know, fresh raw ginger, I might add that right here, or maybe some green onions, some scallions. Um, I'm going to use a little garlic powder because I don't have either of those at the moment in the cabinet, but no problem. Okay, so, boom, that's the marinade here. Taste it. Mm, it's going to be money. Okay, so now I have my salmon fillets. Take my marinade. Just break up those last little bits of that sugar there. My marinade into my bag. Boom. And that's it. This is really going to be simple. I'm going to grill it up and think about how beautiful it's going to be contrasting the colors of uh, the salmon with the green of the cucumbers and the spicy with the sweet. It's gonna be amazing and simple and that's really what it's all about, keeping it clean, keeping it simple. Of course, I did have a little sugar in the recipe. Um, so, you know, luckily it's earlier in the evening. We're gonna still have time. We're gonna be outside barbecuing and hanging out, probably throwing around a football, having a good time. So, have a chance to definitely burn off some of those extra little calories, but this is it. It's simple, easy, and something anyone could do anytime. You could substitute chicken, shrimp, anything in this recipe, um, but look, I'm ready to go. I got my my fixings for my barbecue. Uh, my chicken is going to be simple, or my chicken, my salmon, my cucumber is going to be simple. Anyway, God bless you. Have an amazing day.